Hello everyone in the Heroes Against Cancer community. Ty Bollinger here, I'm sitting with Dr. Raymond Helu. We're in London, England, he just flew in from Spain and we've had a great talk already and I wanted to talk to Dr. Helu about an analysis that he uses for the blood, it's called HRB analysis. And this is able to detect changes in the blood well before diagnostic techniques that we're currently using for cancer. So, Dr. Healy, would you be willing to share a little bit with the, the viewing audience here about HRB analysis? Yeah, this is, this is a high resolution cellular study of the blood. You just need uh, a couple of drops from, um, from the finger. And uh, I person there are different ways of doing that, but the, the, the method I'm using nowadays is a special microscope built specifically for me. Uh, we magnify the sample up till 65,000 times. So I'm able to see what's happening even inside the cells. It gives me a very good idea of the imbalances, uh, deficiencies, uh, irregular morphologies. Uh, and the contents of the blood serum. So whatever is wrong, I take note of it and try to put it right. Six, it's as simple as that. 65,000 times? Yes. Wow. But the thing is that the morphologies or the things they see under the microscope, some see up to 20, others see 30. Dr. Bradford from the States, who was one of my professors, right. managed to discover 58 different morphologies. Now when, so you say, when you say morphology, what does that shapes. mean? Shapes. Okay. Shapes you see and you're able to identify after examining them. So what I've done, I've trained with everybody who knew something about it. I've been doing that for the last 30 years and I ended up uh, managing 840 morphologies. So uh, the way I do it, to my knowledge, no nobody else is, is doing because the maximum that one physician does is less than 60. And so is this particular time, and that's, that's amazing that you're, you're uh, what, 15 times more than anyone else. Yeah. You're able to determine more morphologies than anyone else. Are you able to determine cancer through looking at a couple of drops of blood? Yeah, although, although this is not a, a diagnostic tool, uh, it does help us to even prevent cancer because cancer or any other disease, um, call it fibromyalgia, call it chronic fatigue syndrome, call it whatever you want to call it. Any disease starts up with cellular imbalances. That's the beginning of any disease. Things start to go wrong on a cellular level, and this is where the microscope uh, becomes a very useful tool because we start seeing these irregularities before the disease appears, even cancer, years in advance. So we can prevent diseases from happening. Of course, if the patient is already suffering from cancer, we will see the imbalances that the patient is suffering and the things that are making cancer go worse, and we try to correct them as well. So it's, it's useful to treat, but mainly I, I, I love to use this tool to prevent the disease from happening. Okay, so, the, so the, seeing these morphologies allows you to catch it early before it manifests. That's the idea. Some cancers we can detect five years in advance, which is great. That's awesome. Because most of what we think of as diagnostics are really not diagnostics at all. I mean, you, you, it's not early detection, I mean. No, it's too late. Right, it's too late. So we, we hear about early detection is your best protection with mammograms. By the time you, you see it on a mammogram, it's too late, typically. You want to that's catch it early, and that's what this yeah. allows you to do. We want to catch it even before it becomes a tumor. Mm -hmm. When there's a cellular imbalance that is precancerous, that's when we want to catch it. And then you've got a much higher cure rate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it can be even more than 95%, we can say. So I hope that's been really helpful to you. That's just a little small sample of what you're going to get the rest of the way as we're traveling and filming a global quest. Uh, Dr. Hilo, thank you for spending the time with us today. I know it's been beneficial for our members' community, the Heroes Against Cancer community here. And um, I know you've got to fly back to Spain. we got to get rolling to do some more interviews and then go over to Latvia. But thank you for your support and you're going to be able to see the full interview with Dr. Helu come October when we air the Global Quest. But in the meantime, take care, stay healthy, and God bless all of you.